So when you open the box, the scooter is going to come out more or less like this, uh, minus some foam that you have to remove and maybe some zip ties. Uh, first step is to get the handlebar and insert it inside the tube. So the groove uh, goes towards the part where you see the little indentation in the plastic. So this groove matches up with that. So, yeah, quick release. Um, also, the seat comes upside down for uh, shipping purposes, so I can save space and so I won't get damaged. So, simply take off the knob, take it off, flip it over. Um, you're gonna probably have to try it out a couple of times, see where it feels most comfortable. But you basically screw it in where it feels most comfortable for you. You can either hold this with your hands or use the pliers, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And then once it's ni nice and snug, go ahead and lock it into place. Now I'm gonna show you in case the lock is loose. I loosened it on purpose so that in case your lock doesn't lock, what you're gonna have to do is get a flathead screwdriver and tighten this part right here. And just like a regular screw, just uh, tighten it just a couple of times and now it's ready to go. If you notice that yours, um, your handlebar and wheels are not aligning, simply undo this latch. Inside you're going to see a bolt. What you're going to do is loosen it. Now the wheels and the steering wheel are independent of each other, so you can kind of manipulate it to however you need. Um, and then just kind of adjust it. Uh, once you have that, open it up and tighten it. Might need to do it a couple of times, but it looks about right. There you go. Now that you have your um, scooter assembled, you try to ride it, and the handlebar goes down when you're trying to use it, it's because this quick release is too loose. Simply hold with your hands uh, or use pliers and tighten the other side, like so. And once you feel it nice and snug, you're able to use it as a quick release. So you put it wherever you want and then snap it into place. Now it should be there nice and snug. Now in the off chance that the brake is, um, is on the wheel, it's touching the wheel without the handbrake being um, engaged, what you would do is loosen this with the, uh, the Allen wrench that it comes with. And just like a bike, um, it's gonna the spring is gonna push out where the wire. So just give it a little bit more slack. Uh, once you feel it, it moved a little bit, tighten it back up, and you see that it spins smoothly. You might have to do this a couple of times just to test out um, that the brakes work correctly.